Hi everyone, it's Lonnie. Welcome back. Today I have a flip through for you of my gratitude journal. And I was having trouble filling it up until I got going and then I, the ideas just started flowing. So um, I did finish it up this weekend and now, well, I don't know. I don't think you can ever finish a journal because you just keep going until you stop. So I don't know if that is considered finished, but anyways. Um, so since this is mine, it's, you know, obviously going to fill up some more. So um, starting off here is a slip pocket. And here is a tuck. And I thought this kind of looked like grass, but I didn't see that until after I made it. So it is sideways, but I don't care. I think it's cool. Uh, I hit a sticker in back there. Pockets. Images are from Creative Fabrica. Then I saw Dragona at Sasebo made these um, fabric swatches, so I decided I was going to make some as well. Actually, I made a whole bunch, so this is just one of them. And then I made a little um, tag. This one says hashtag joy and finished it off with a bulb pin and a tab. I decided to make tucks out of the big doilies that I had in here. Another pocket with a tag. This was a uh, an envelope that had a window in it. You can still see through it. I put some washi tape over top. Um, this here is just a piece of paper that I had folded and where the crease was, I just cut it off and it was, um, it was strong, like it wasn't weak. So I, I don't know, I thought it kind of looked interesting. So I just taped that in there or glued that in there. Then I made a tuck out of a snippet roll I made and I used some butterflies as decoration. So I have some verses left to put in. In everything give thanks, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. First Thessalonians 5 verse 18. So I stick that in there. I was playing around with paint and I really like the colors and the design on this page, so I decided to make it a large pocket. And I stuck a notepad of sorts in there. Um, this idea I got from Tina at Shabby Dabby Doo Dah. That's really cool. Um, it opens up and then you have journaling space inside. This is just a napkin on top of um, book page and then a brad so there's that here's another image with some tea bag paper I sewed it after I glued it and um, this pocket is an envelope folded in half I actually have four Probably five, five pockets in here, because this is one half of the envelope. So then back there is available two, and then inside here, and then at the very back, depending on how you glue it down. So yeah, there's possibility of five there. So, may as well add something. Be anxious for nothing, 
but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your requests be known to be made known to God Philippians 4 verse 6 and that image I think is from Creative Fabrica as well here I took some lace and put some scripture on there every good and perfect gift comes from the Father above and some more sewn paper book page and the other tag I made Here I took some pictures that I made. I used uh, heavy backing. I used actually the back of a book and the inside was a creamy color. So I um, glued these images on there and then I just staggered them to make this belly band. I thought these were cool because before you ink them, I think they look like um, photographs of days gone by where you would have the edge when you got them printed from the like Kodak or somebody like that. So let's put in another verse. Colossians 2 verses 6 and 7. Therefore as you have received Christ Jesus the Lord so walk in him having been firmly rooted and now being built up in him and established in your faith just as you were instructed and overflowing with gratitude. Another colorful, colorful bird there. There's the belly band we made. I decided to, instead of making this a pocket, I decided to make it a tuck. And I put it up top because my the bottom of my journal was starting to get bulky so and revelation 7 verse 12 amen blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be to our god forever and ever amen so there's that and i did some more stenciling and then I actually made a little tuck in the pocket here. And I can still stick things in there. And more stenciling. There's still room for adding more pockets and tucks. Here I made a tuck. And what I like about this one is I saw Kathy at Kathy's Garden use tissue paper with gold dots on it and I thought I don't have any of that <laughs> but what I did have was tracing paper and one of my metallic pens so I got busy and I started drawing dots and so now I have this um, faux tissue paper with gold dots on it so that was kind of cool so this is again snippet roll that I sewed together. This one's paper. And then I just made some layers. This one's actually not glued in. I just tucked that in there because I liked how it looked. So layers is good. Oh happy day. Oh happy day. When my Jesus takes me away. That's what I'm looking forward to. So there. And then here. I had I just found this strip of music page and I made kind of a ruffle out of the center of it and then this will act as a tuck and then I took this picture of this young lady and I made a frame and put some lace in behind there because I thought no no she reminded me that she needed lace or something so that's a tuck spot and I can just put some paper in back here for another verse or for some thoughts or a list of things I'm thankful for since this is a gratitude journal. This one's actually quite... Okay, so the, the tuck has um, 
a side and a bottom so it's a corner tuck I guess so there's another pocket here I made a safety pin with some lace and glued some buttons to it this is kind of bulky but I do like it so I need some more papers This is just a page edging, it's not a tuck. This is a triple pocket. That's a hummingbird. It's in one of the, to remind me that there's a pocket there. So this is, again, a page, a pocket, or rather, I think it's called a double pocket. Tina at Shabby Dabby Duda made these, and then she just decorated them with pretty pocket or pretty digital papers and some lace and that was actually a lot of fun um, I'll try to link the tutorial for that one if I remember then I honestly don't remember who it was that made these but I kind of did my own take on it so basically all I did was take a piece of eight and a half by eleven. I folded mine into roughly threes. <laughs> roughly. I wasn't too particular. But then where where you see this crease here, I just folded the whole thing down and then um, I just cut away the parts. On the edges that I didn't want and then I have a cover here so it kind of looks like an envelope but it's not. I think Tina at Shabby Dabby Duda did that one as well she, except she did hers different. She did hers into four and then the flap was always consistently um, when I made mine I played around with it and I found you could um, choose whichever part you wanted as your flap so here is a heart that is a tuck. Put some something in there. Did some more stenciling. I tried making a stencil of a scroll pattern. It's okay. It's not the greatest, but it works for me for my purposes. Um, then again, there's uh, another tuck here made from the doily. Here's a fabric paper clip. I added some words. And then what I did back here was I made like I was going to make an envelope. And I just left it um, unglued. So this could actually become like a journaling spot. And that's the back cover and you've seen that already. So that there is my gratitude journal. And it is really thick compared to um, what I thought it was going to end up like. So I'm really happy with it and I can't wait to start actually using it because I have not this is this will be the first journal that I'm actually going to be using so I'm really excited about that so thanks for joining me and uh, we'll see if uh, we get another journal going here pretty quick so have a great week guys and uh, thanks for joining in and we'll see you again bye for now